Hello everyone and welcome to my week one match of the IDL season three. Now we've had some rough seasons in the past, you know, didn't do too good in season one, didn't do too good in season two, but we have a really solid squad this week. And you know, just this season we have a very solid squad, you know, we got the Kieran Black, we got good Pokemon and oh, look at that Needle Queen spray, she awkward. But we have some good Mons, we're in a good matchup, he has a lot of Mons with common weaknesses here, so we're going to see what we can do here. Now we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, I do lead with Uxi here, predicting Blob for 120, that's really funny, but realistically Uxi here has U-turn and then three support moves, but right here I'm really predicting a Magic Coat, because I'm thinking, ooh, Magic Coat getting my rocks on me in turn one really just kind of nullifies what I do. Or if I toxic it, it does that, so I'm gonna, I, what I do go for here is Heal Bell, just to see, and he's Calm Mind, and now what this tells me, this should tell me, what his ability is, but I'm too dumb to realize it. So I use Toxic on him, and then I realize, oh man, he is Magic Guard. So I just set up my rocks, let him get to times two, and I'm like, oh, that's awkward. I messed up. You turn out, I do nothing. I go into Delamese. Now, Delamese is Assault Vested. I'm figuring Delamese, Assault Vested, taking uh, neutral times two, should do just over, like, it's not got bad special defense. Should do maybe about 60, 40 something percent, and then I should outspeed and kill it. Takes like 80% almost. So I lose Delamese, one of my main sweepers. And I'm like, whatever, fine, I could have killed you, whatever. Blaziken comes in, knock off, nothing, like no damage, and Blaziken goes down. Now Blaziken going down really hurts me because Blaziken had, uh, you know, Blaziken was a very big answer for a Pokemon like Bisharp, but whatever. I go into Kieran Black, and I'm like, I'm just going to hit Outrage, you know, that's all I really can do. I'm Scarfed, I am into Outrage, I take it down. Goes into Primarina, I am Scarfed, and I'm also in Outrage, so I have to hit it. And he Moonblasts, and it does a lot of damage, but I'm like, okay, that at least tells me something about the speed level, he's not Scarfed. So I go into Aggron here, I got the special attack drop, but I don't care. Uh... And now, I was predicting him because he I, I was feeling, you know, why wouldn't he predict uh, a heavy slam or even an electric move? And then if he predicted that, why wouldn't he go into, like, uh, Garchomp or Landaris? So I Ice Punch because both are times four weak. No, he just goes for a Reflect. So I switch out into Uxie here uh, to eat the Scald because I don't care if Uxie gets uh, burned or whatever. I have Heal Bell on it. Goes into the Bisharp, and I'm like, ooh, that's not what I want, because I can't Toxic it, and I was predicting him to switch into anything else, or even to just stay in, but nope, goes into the Bisharp, which means I can't Toxic it, and he Swords Dances, so I U-turn out, and I U-turn into the Mega Aggron here, goes for Sucker Punch, and I'm like, mmm, okay, and because Reflect is up, I don't kill it, so yep, that's the thing, <laughs> Going back into Uxie here, and he knocks off. I was predicting a Sucker Punch, but... Oh, well. Go into Nidoqueen here. Uh, I do eat a Sucker Punch here because, again, it was alive. And it lives on one! <laughs> so, man, I am not doing well. And I'm able to take it out. Woo! But he does do, like, 97% to me. Now, this thing comes out. And... I go into Kieran Black here, predicting, you know, it rocks. Nope! EQ. So I go back into Nidoqueen. Now the problem here is that Nidoqueen would have been a lot higher health had that Bisharp been down. But, nope, can't even kill the Gigalith. And it goes down. So I have I have Mega Aggron. I'm like, okay, Mega Aggron's okay. But it gets a kill and I'm okay with that. And I'm thinking, at this point, you know, I've lost. I know I've lost. Goes into the Cynthia and, oh, she kills me. And it, and it really does suck. I prepped a lot for this match. But I overplayed so hard. And I really should have just been hitting what's in front of me. Not predicting, like, 37 things uh, moves ahead. Sometimes you just gotta hit what's in front of you guys. I've been Vampire 218. And I really hope I can turn it around for week two. Make sure you tune in to see how that goes. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!